Hello everyone. Welcome to Jurisit channel. In this video, you will get to know the marking scheme and the criteria for result declaration of UGC NET exam. Hence, do watch this video to know more. As you know, that National Testing Agency which is NTA had released the provisional UGC NET answer key 2021 to provide an opportunity to the candidates to download their response sheet. And the window was open from 21st Jan to 24th Jan till 9 p.m. Hence, the candidates were given an opportunity to challenge online against the provision answer key on payment of rupees thousand per question, for which the window was open till 24th Jan 11:50 p.m. Hence, by now I can assume that you must have calculated your marks in the UGC NET exam. So, let's have a look on few pointers which you should know before the result declaration. Let's have a quick look on the marking scheme. As you know, under paper one there were fifty questions, and in paper two there were hundred questions. And for each question, there are two marks allotted. So, for every correct response, you will get two marks, and there is no negative marking for the incorrect response. I hope you have calculated your marks accordingly. Now, let's see the criteria for the result declaration. The first and foremost point to note is that. regarding the percentage of candidates to be qualified in this exam since there has been a wide spread here say in other sources also that total number of candidates to be qualified is 12% but according to the information bulletin published by nta the number of candidates to be qualified will be 6% of the candidates appeared in both the papers of net right so it's not 12% it is 6% right Second point is that if candidate belongs to general and EWS category, the minimum percent he or she should secure is forty percent. Hence, once a candidate has secured forty percent, then only they will fall under the consideration zone for NET. Otherwise, they won't be considered and they are out of competition. However, for other reserved categories, the minimum marks for consideration zone is thirty-five percent. Now, there are other relevant points which are. The result will be declared on UGC NET and NTA website, and it will be binding and final. Also, there will be no re-evaluation of result once declared. Now, you might be thinking about the expected cutoff and when the result will be declared. So, I have already made a video in respect of expected cutoff. You may see the video, and the expectations may vary a bit. So, let's just wait for the final result to get the true picture. There is one update for you. that juris such academy has newly launched its own journal named as law exam capsule it will be facilitating you to know about the crucial information required for cracking competitive law exams right it's a student friendly repository so do visit the link given in the description box to know more about it the very next thing you must be curious about is the date of result declaration so you wait for the result declaration is going to be ended soon the result might be out in this fortnight or maybe by the end of january by winding up this video i extend my best wishes to all those who are waiting for their results thank you for watching this video please like and share this video and do subscribe jurisit academy to get the further updates